Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Jake. You can also call me atrocious and today we've got the third round of the One Piece trading card game Japan National Championships. This is going to be very, very exciting. We've had two rounds so far showcased on the channel with some nice unique commentary by moi but before we get into that because it is unique commentary i just want to be transparent and say that this is not my official content this is i'm watching the official stream so I'm not going to be making any money off this. If you want to go watch the actual official stream, you can check it out in the description below. As always, the link will be there for these tournaments. So the first two rounds we had, oh my gosh, it's been a long night. I've been recording these. The last video that we did was Uta versus Sakazuki. And then before that was Nami versus Katakuri. So Two very, very interesting matches in this tournament. This is different than most of the other Japan tournaments that we watch, where they start out with the 32 people and they do some Swiss rounds. And then after the Swiss rounds, they take the top eight and go into a top eight bracket. So right now, I would imagine that we'll watch some 2-0 matches, I would think, potentially... We could see like some one ones maybe, but I think we'll probably see some two O's and then afterwards we get to like the quote unquote like winning in scenarios essentially. Um, I'm not exactly sure how many match points you would need to make top eight, but I feel like kind of like four O is like starting off four wins, even getting three wins is probably pretty safe overall in terms of a really, really good start. So now getting into this match, we're replaying essentially the national championships for NA, the North American International Championships. But with this matchup, OPO6 and EB01 are legal in these decks so we did see those two i did a recreation of it because bandai said that i couldn't do this kind of commentary for it uh, so uh i ended up recreating the entire national championship best of three series if you want to go check that out but i'm excited to see how these decks differ than the op05 meta what is added what is included in this and so here we go the rock paper scissors it looks like the anel player is deciding to go second on this forcing the sakazuki to go first i think i i don't think that's too bad to be honest because especially with the anel you love getting that ohm holly combo it's so pressure so much pressure on the opponent no matter who you're playing and then you get a little bit of extra dawn elsewhere to do like the uh, turn three Godatsu play potentially so both players keeping their hands putting out their life and we'll see how this goes and so Sakazuki starting hand actually looks pretty good overall got two brand news at Tashigi so three searchers overall in the hand as well as a Hina perfect card to use off the leader effect and a Hound Blaze. So really, really good stuff in my opinion on this hand. This is looking good. It could go south very quickly depending on the brand new searches because the brand new searches could be bad for the uh, the stuff. We do know that Sakazuki does play some non-Navy cards in stuff like the uh, Rebecca, the Rob Lucci, the Sabo. So I don't even know if Sakazuki is playing Sabo in EB01. And so after the Mulligan, the Anel's hand, not as good, I would say. They do have the You're the One That Should Disappear event card, but two Satoris and two Rush Anels. Ooh, that might be a little tough, at least in this early game. If you do find an Ohm or a Shura, that would be very nice for you. You can get some churning going in the early game, especially turn one top deck Shura would be god sent for this anel player i feel like but and so they're off the sakazuki using leader effect on the brand new okay getting a rob lucci off that and playing the tashigi so interestingly enough i brought up the idea of pitching the hina 
turn one, but this player opting to get the Branu out instead because they have another one. So getting that Borsalino, finding that Navy, very interesting choice overall. And the top deck, this guy dropping a ton of cards is going to be an impact. So it's just going to be really a draw pass. And you love to see that if you're Sakazuki going into the three dawn turn. You have a second Hina in hand, so I'd be shocked if they didn't use a Hina. There we go. Using the Hina off of the leader effect and drawing a Suru after that. Going to be swinging five, just a bare five right here and going to be getting a Gadatsu off of this. And so resting two now, playing the Bernou, doing a little bit more searching. You're all right if they pop those guys or anything like that. Can't grab the T-Bone or the... Uh, actually, no, you can grab the T-Bone. T-Bone is a new Navy card coming out in the uh, in EB01. Just opting not to get it and instead getting the Great Eruption. So draw looks like it's going to be the Flampe, another new EB01 card. And they're going to play the Flampe. The Flampe, I think, is a really good card in Katakuri and Anel decks. And so... What they're going to do on that one, if you missed it, is on play, add one card from the top or bottom of your life cards to your hand, and then draw one card. So, oh, another way for Anel to just get down to that sweet spot of like one life, but also get a lot of cards. So, after swinging that five and taking a life, they're going to play that Shura and look at that top five, see what they got in there. It looks like, oh my gosh. They have the 200 million volts of Maru, the you're the one that should disappear, another, I think, two L4s, and then that rush caught a curry from starter deck seven. So crazy. And also playing this stage. This stage, I believe, was an OP05. And it looks like it is a searcher kind of stage. Going to be grabbing that four cost event there. I think that's a relatively newer release in the one piece trading card game so if you do not know that event there on play look at the top five cards reveal sky island add it to your hand and so it's only on play for that stadium and then for the event card that they grab the four costs it is i am god on main put up to one cost seven or less ml from your hand or trash into play then trash the top card the top of your life card so your life total becomes zero or becomes one i'm sorry so very interesting basically gets to put a uh a nail down a russian nail for a three dawn less and can grab it from either your trash or your hand so you don't even need to have it to have it in your hand very very cool and strong card in my opinion and Doing that leader effect, getting, I believe, the Tashigi on that. I was too busy reading translations. <laughs> Going to be swinging five at lead and taking that life there. Lots of cards in the hand. Going to be a rush, kind of curry, and minusing one of the two characters and then using Tashigi. Tashigi found Houndblaze. Houndblaze could be nice in this to boost up stuff like your brand new or your other Tashigi to be able to do a little bit of swinging. But at this point, it's a little weird about swinging. And so they're just going to play the Borsalino and just pass it off to the opponent right there. Because now that Anel is at one life, if you try to do some swinging, they have a ton of cards in hand. They have really morphed this hand into their own, which is much much stronger because you can uh, you can counter out of stuff and then you can hand filter with that leader effect on life so after drawing that l4 pretty good event card as well they're going to swing six at the sakazuki the sakazuki using the t-bone the new 2k counter for these decks and now is going to be thinking about what they want to do they could play that event card they could play that four cost i am god and they will putting that rush anel in play and this is a perfect card to play when you're at one life because if you want to play that anel like they did you have to after playing it trash your top life card so your life total becomes one if you're already at one 
then all you do is just play that Anel for four Dawn, which is so strong in this deck. That is why Anel can be so dangerous in turns like this. So that Rush Anel swinging seven and taking a life. The Anel is going to pass the turn then into the Sakazuki. So it would be insane if they drew another one to be honest, and reading that card, making sure that they know its full intentions correctly. I don't think Sakazuki plays a Monkey de Luffy kind of card, but if they decide to save this seven cost rush Anel from either bottom decking or from a KO effect, they can actually do the leader effect rotation, trashing that top life and then adding one as well effectively just like moving around cards filtering their hands so a very tricky situation right here for the sakazuki a very interesting spot going to use leader effect to draw that great eruption gonna swing five at leader try to catch a card and they're gonna catch that Gadatsu. Nice old 1k counter Gadatsu. Not going to be doing any work in this game now that the life total is at 3 combined overall. They're going to swing the Borsalino. Very interesting. This Borso is going to swing 5, not getting the boost during your turn. So the NL player really got to think about what they want to do in this one. Thinking about where they are. They do have one Dawn up, so... Could use Elthor if they wanted to, or just counter out of it with like a, um, ooh, I don't know if you want to counter out of it though, because they have a lot of 2Ks and they are going to pitch a 2K in that hand. So kind of maybe telling for this Sakazuki player on what their hand looks like, pitching the 2K counter instead of a 1. And so resting three, going to be playing that Hina, hard playing that Hina. I bet the leader swing and also the Hina was directed at the Anel potentially. So going to be using Houndblaze here. Did they play Great Eruption earlier? They might have played Great Eruption earlier because the leader swing. Oh no, the leader swing. No, yeah, the leader swing plus Hina. Oh, it was actually five. I'm sorry, I always forget that Hina is four. Um, so that combo being five and then letting that Anel get bottom deck. Now that Tashigi is going to swing five and they're going to take that life. It's going to be a Shura. They're going to let that Shura get played. Looking at the top five off that trigger, going to be finding that stadium again. So I do believe you can play over the stadium that you have for a second on play effect. I I might be wrong about that. I'm I'm actually, I'm pretty sure, but I could be wrong. But anyways, after rotating that leader effect, the brand new is going to swing five again. And the 2K Satori is going to be countered out going into the Anel's next turn. Now, if they do find another I Am God, it could be very, very nice for their hand to be able to get some guys out. And so... Thinking about what they want, it looks like they want to see their trash, see what they've discarded, maybe use the leader effect up to this point. We have yet to see a Rebecca in this game. We've only seen the one Borsalino blocker, I feel like, so it'll be interesting to see how this continues. We did see that T-Bone, which was nice. And so thinking about where they want to go on here, I'm trying to look at the hand. Gadatsu doesn't really feel good. You probably want to swing the Shuras at the Tashigi. That could be nice. Maybe try to bait out some counter. Maybe just try to get a character out. Maybe save one of them for a 200 million volts Amaru play. I don't know if you do want to do that, but you could. You could rest that starter deck Hina up top to be able to take that out as well do a little bit of board control of your own and they're just going to be swinging five i don't know exactly where this five is going to be swinging it looks like it might be at the life and so they do have only they have 2k and a 1k counter in and it looks like they're going to be opting for the 2k all right so keeping hold of that sabo they're going to be playing 
that rush a Nell to swing a life and take that life. It's going to be a Borsalino blocker. And then just passing the turn. So leaving one more Dawn open again for the El Thor. We did see at North American Nationals that the Jonas, the Nell player, would often faint the El Thor. Never had El Thor, but would always pretend like he had it to mess with the mind of the Sakazuki opponent. And so whether or not you have it in hand, I mean, this guy's had it in hand the whole time, but could be a feigning. The opponent, the Sakazuki player, is probably wondering whether or not he actually does have it because he hasn't revealed that he's had it off of a search or anything like that. So we'll see exactly how this starts to play out. The Sakazuki with some great eruptions in hand two great eruptions the amino murakuma could get rid of right away the uh shura and the flampe but i wonder if you'd rather try to save the amino murakuma for the anel rush character and so pitching the rob lucci and getting an ice age off the leader effect the ice age will do really good actually in lowering the nl cost so you could just pay one for the ice age right there and immediately play the amino murakuma right because the nl would be at two you could get that in the flampe just right away with only three dawn used or you could swing this leader and get a shura so you could get shura and possibly the nl and the nl is going to have to either discard a card from their life and then cycle the leader effect use that as the cycle for the leader effect before you swing the hina and the borsalino or i don't know it's just there's a lot of different cool options going on in here and i don't know exactly where he minus the attack per se but if i had to take a guess it's it's either on the anel or ashura and for me personally i would have done the shura the Sakazuki player now swinging five with the starter deck, Hina. Just going face for a lot of these, just saving their dawn for different situations. The Houndblaze is always active to bottom deck Ashura or Flampe. And so, I mean, personally, I would try to like get as many cards as I can out of their the anel player's hand and then go into the okay i'm getting rid of this anel guy now with all of these different effects i mean they have the amino murakuma effect they have two or no they have one hound blaze that they could also do and they could also like play the sabo and uh maybe find something else that they can use overall. So two different bottom decking effects, and that is without even considering the Borsalino potentially swinging. Uh, with this hand though, and the lack of counter, I don't know if you would swing with the Borsalino, but it's just an option. Um, and so thinking about where they wanna go in here, going to be using El Thor to get out of that attack just going in and using that the radical beam for yellow getting a plus four thousand power bonus and so looking at the field now it might be a little telling of the hand you know that one of the cards is that stadium card because that's what they grabbed and you know another card is the 200 million volts amaru so I definitely think you probably try to aim for playing Sabo this turn. I don't know if I would swing, but do whatever you want, King. Swinging the Borsalino now, going to be at five. Maybe trying to just really tell what's in the hand at this point. And there's two different options. Take this life or use the you're the one that should disappear. And so they're going to take this life, going to put a life over and get rid of of that stadium card now that they have two in hand the hand essentially staying the same as before which i don't think you like if you're a nell and so going to be playing these great eruptions to draw cards and look at different options here going to be doing two for the helm blaze to bottom deck the anel and with five open this could be a sabo play to try to draw some counter cards overall and the anel is going to get bottom decked deciding not to get rid of that life because this brand new swing is going to come in having already cycled the leader effect 
the brand new swinging six is going to force either a life or the you're the one that should disappear event card and if i had to take a guess it's probably going to be the event card because you don't have anything next turn to be able to heal yourself up no kind of curries no yamatos things of that nature so if i was them maybe i would go ahead and play that but it's looking a little tough for this anel player especially because you probably want to put like some sort of character down and so they're actually going to take the life oh my god goodness and the life is going to have a trigger card and it's going to be the i am god trigger the i am god being draw two cards then trash one from your hand i don't know if i fully agree with that what are the pros and cons of doing this trigger instead of keeping that in your hand to play on main and get another anel out you would be at 10 Dawn, right? You probably know they're going to play Sabo, but what they have done is they've swung with their Borsalino. So effectively, they're only going to have one blocker on the field, right? For 4 Dawn, you can get a 7,000 power body on the field, and then you would have 6 Dawn left, right? 6 Dawn left. Two of them can be used for 200 million volt tomorrow. It wouldn't rest the Sabo, but it would be plus one Dawn efficiency for like the Shura or the Flampe. Yeah, I just don't know if I agree with that. I don't, um, mm. it's really tough because with the draw, the draw two and then trash one, you can decide to, or you can get some stuff that you can trash from your hand. So trashing, uh, the Katakuri, the Rush Katakuri, I believe it was. So playing over the Tashigi now, playing that Sabo and drawing two cards. Those two cards are non-counter cards. Oh my God. They have had like no counter. They have that eight drop Moira. They don't have, do they have any counter in hand? They have a 1K counter Borsalino. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I, I mean... Oh, man. Yeah, I just, I don't know if I would do that. I mean, again, it's like I say usually in these videos, we have the perspective that we see both of these players' hands, but this player right here only has a perspective that they see in this, like, camera angle right here. So it's like, maybe with a five-ish card hand, you didn't want to bank on that alone you wanted to be maybe be able to draw like a yamato or something like that so maybe it wasn't too bad they do play that starter deck 13 rush ace though that rush ace could be good but for one dawn less you could get the same amount of power so they didn't realize that they were going to top deck the ace obviously but yeah i don't know i think I definitely think impact could be in the cards here. So you use impact, right? You deal one damage to your opponent. You don't have to deal any damage to yourself because of this. It looks like it's going to be a trigger. It's a great eruption. So discard a card from their hand. This is actually super impactful and discarding the rush ace at this point. So now resting two or attaching to, I'm sorry, and going to be swinging seven at the Anel. They have to block with this Sabo at this point. They're going to win this game. They're actually going to win this game. They're going to block the Sabo and then use 200 million volts tomorrow, boost the Shura and attach to Dawn to the Shura to swing 7K. I can't believe they won that game. I truly can't. Yeah, I'm actually kind of shocked that Anel won that game. I don't know. I just, hmm. I would love to know your opinion in the comments below. Would you have allowed that trigger to go off? Would you have said, you know what? I am going to let this trigger go and I'm going to draw cards. Or would you have held 
that trigger. I wonder if you held that trigger. Yeah, I just don't know. I just I'm mm, I'm really wrapping my brain about this, but it was still a good match nonetheless and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. We'll get more of these games after this. It looks like there's some good action over here in the next round i think an yamato versus sakazuki so stay tuned and subscribe and hit the bell if you want to see the rest of this tournament with some what i would consider to be okay english commentary anyways i'm done tuning my horn i gotta edit this video it's really late good night